Well, hello. How are you? I am good. I am good. I am coming back with the leftovers from the last haul and a couple smaller packages that I need to open. So, let me see. Yeah, these are teeny ones. Just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. So, I wanted to open those with y'all too. So, sit on down. Get your drink. I got mine. I got, I got my coffee. I got my coffee. My husband made me my coffee. Um, so yeah, get your drink and let's get into it. And no, those little bags aren't it. Like I said, I got the leftover of the other bag. It's just, they're already out of the bag, so I don't want to lift them up and give anything away. So first, let's dig into one of these little ones. I really hope your week is starting out well or going well whenever you're watching it. I hope it's going nice. All right, got like four things in here. Okay, so the first thing we got, um, also I don't know how much these are, but I will do my best to put the prices on the screen. The only reason is these little ones have been around for a minute, like months, waiting to be opened. But, um, so I'll, I won't be saying the prices, but I will be putting them on the screen. And the prices that I put on the screen will be the current prices on Timu as of filming, but they're constantly changing their prices. As we all know, whoever shops on there, they're constantly changing their prices. So prices may vary. <laughs> so um, I got some welding glue. We'll see how this works. I don't know why I got it. I got it for a particular reason and now I forgot. So couldn't have been that important. <laughs> That's a good size. I don't think I paid much for that, but you'll know before I do. Or well, well, I'll know first, but <laughs> you know. Okay, what did I get? Two of something? I looks like I got two of something. We'll see what they are. What are you? I gotta cut into it. It's got plastic on it. I don't think I need to open both. Should I open both? Because I don't know. Maybe they're different. This is why you shouldn't wait so long to open your order. Also, it may be past your return time if you wait too long. You know what I mean? It just does you a disservice. Okay. Out of the package. Doesn't really let me get my spectacles. Ow! Oh my god, I just poked myself in the eyeball. Okay. I don't see anything in English. Oh wait. Not like a direction. I don't know. <laughs> well, what is it? Let's open it and find out. Okay. Peach foot chafing cream? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Radiant skin improved eye skin. Okay, well, I must have got this for my feet. Being diabetic, you know, your skin gets dry, you got to take care of it. That's what it looks like. What does it feel like? Okay, so it definitely like, you see? That simple touch. My, I don't have any socks on right now, so. Yeah, I mean. Feels nice. It smells like, I'm, yeah, I'm clean. I just showered. <laughs> but it doesn't really smell like peach. Well, the in the canister, I held it up to you as if you could smell. smell vision Okay, so I must have gotten two because you can never have too much foot cream, so. <laughs> okay, where's my baby wipes? Give me a baby wipe so I can wipe my hands. Where are they? My handy dandy baby wipes. 
Okay. All right. Next up. <laughs> you know what? I've always wanted to try these because you see them on the commercial and they always have like all these weird like they look so nasty afterwards. And I bought them before and then I lost them. I don't know where they went. So we're going to do this again. We're going to do this again. And I'm excited about it. Ginger powder and bamboo vinegar are known to improve the body and lift the mood. Who doesn't need to be lifted once in a while? I wish I wish the tag wasn't on the back right there where it says everything. Can I get it off? Let me see. I want to read that. Oh my goodness. Oh, you stoopy. Stoopy Snoopy. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. My stomach is trying to growl. I don't know. The main component of the foot patch is bamboo, sorrel, black, or other colored liquid will be discharged during the use of the foot patch, which is usually a physical phenomenon. I don't know. Okay. Remove adhesive fill from the patch. Place each patch on the bottom middle of your foot and sole. Remove the patch in the morning. So put it on at night before you go to bed. I better not dirty my sheets. I'll be so mad. Have any of you used those before? Do they work? Do they do anything interesting? Do they dirty your sheets? Because, no. Next little package. I got some big, fun packages coming. Mm, I'm so excited. And I made a pretty large order recently, and it hasn't shipped yet. But I'm waiting to see if A, they split it, or B, they keep it together and it ends up in a box. I keep hoping for B because I want another box. I have one, but I want another one. So, Oh, of course. Absolutely. Because I don't have enough. But look at how cool they look. <laughs> That's cool. The top sticker came off. Look at that. Little vintage washi. Goodness. So much washi to put away. So little places to put it. But if you saw my last video, you'll know that I made a fun little area to put it. I just have to wait for some deliveries to finish. So I can add more. Okay. Whatever it is, it's blocked by the tag. Pagoda Perfume. I got a perfume. I don't usually wear a lot of perfume. I like oils and stuff, so I'm surprised. Maybe I just wanted to give it a shot. Let's open her up. Because I'm pretty particular about smells. <laughs> oh, let's see. a cute bottle. Maybe that's why I did it. Isn't that pretty? Unscrew. Oh, it's a little roller. Okay. Is it coming out? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's almost... Oh, that's a nice smell. There is a floral, but it's not heavy. Clean. Almost like a powder under it. So like that clean powder after you get out of the shower kind of smell. And then there's something else that's kind of lifting it. Oh. That's nice. I wonder if it's the pheromone one. 
I think I may have ordered a pheromone one. Because I wanted to test it on my husband. I mean, I don't need to test anything. He's... <laughs> He's always frisky. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's a guy. But I just want... Maybe I think this might... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, geez. What is this? Why did I get that? I already have one. Oh, these are cute. I got earrings. Um. Okay, so I've had this before. I must have gotten this, like extremely discounted or as a freebie I don't even know but or I bought it as a backup for when my mics die so I've had this kind before I like them they're cool I think I have I think I ordered a different type of set too with like the wind blocker so brushing wind don't make so much noise on it but anyway it's just kind of like what I have right now so it's a little microphone for your phone. You just plug in that little... I should tell you what it is, huh? Plug in this part, and then these connect. There's two of them, and they connect to it. So, you can wear it on your shirt. You can... I put it here next to... Right next to my phone. So, it doesn't go... Ding, 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 every time I move my body, if it's on my shirt. But that's what I'm hoping those little fuzzy things will stop. The ones that I get coming up soon. Okay, so these earrings are from that painting. The warped clock. You know what I'm talking about? I can't remember the name of the artist right now. Stop. I'll have to insert it. But I thought these would be super cute. I almost want a second hole so I can wear more dangly earrings. I don't know. I thought they would be fun. I thought they would be fun. And I love earrings, so there's that. Okay. Oh, that's it for the little ones. Okay, well now we're on to the other one that was left over. Oh my goodness, these nails are fun. Okay, so I got some nails. Now these I can pull up my price. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. If you hear my stomach growling, I am so sorry in advance because I don't mean for that to happen. I thought the coffee would hold it off, but alas, I was wrong. Okay, the item is currently sold out, but I paid $152. Look at how stinking cute these are. I hate that glare. You see that? Look at that. Oh, they're so fun. They're so they're so fun. Not bad for a dollar fifty-two. Okay, so that's that. Now let's see. Oh, of course, there's that. Let's go back. Hold on. Not quite in that order, just quite yet. Is it this one? Yes. I paid $8.98 for this, and it's like $7.19 now. What is going on? I swear, is customs going through the clothes and like, I don't know, like, what's happening? Why are they being sent all crumpled up and wrinkled? At least it doesn't have a weird smell. But this is one of those, it feels nice though, I like the fabric. It's one of those v-neck tops that you can lace if you want to use any kind of ribbon or whatever and it's just the winchester <laughs> brothers shirt i thought it would be super cute with jeans just you know and it's got like the longer sleeve it looks like it's going to be nice and loose hopefully it's long enough looks like it might be i thought that would be fun my son would love it he would get a kick about it but yeah that was not bad that, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. And it's a good price. Like I said, it's $7 right now. So you cannot beat that. I mean, you could. You could. It could be free. But $7 for a t-shirt that doesn't feel like... Is it going to be hot, I wonder? Because sometimes they feel nice, but they're like... They're hot because they don't breathe. I couldn't tell you. What is this, though? This is... 
95% polyester and 5% spandex. Let me see if I put my arm in it. Oh, it feels like it would be breathable. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, all the prices that I put on the screen, wherever, which way, this way, that way, I don't know, whichever way, um, are gonna be the current prices. Did I tell you that already? If I did, I'm sorry, but they're the current Timu prices as of filming. <laughs> I just want to make sure y'all know. Okay, now, these are fun. There's only a couple things left, but they're fun. Now, I love a Renaissance Festival. I love a Renaissance Festival. They are so fun. <clears throat> and I do have some things, and I have a beautiful, like, leather corset with boning and everything. It is heavy. It is heavy. Um... But I was very big when I got it. So now when I put it on, it's just like, it's big. Like I can, I can cinch it all the way. So that's a bummer. Um, and like the shirts that I would wear with it and stuff, they're all too big. So I needed some new garb. And I, I didn't get it in time for this year's festival. So it's going to be next year's. It's a, okay, this is a dress. So if you know anything about the the olden days they had like their underdress and then they had like things that went over it like the corsets the skirts the bustles all those things okay so this is the dress and i'm i'm assuming that's the front because of the detailing um and it's that that polyester cool but it's like the cooler fabric i don't know i'm hoping it's breathable because it gets hot it, and i'm thinking this is the back so it's got a little bit of stretch in the back because um, it gets hot where we have the festival and it's got elastic on the sleeve and it's got like this smocking here on the waist like above the waist and on the waist and then it goes down into a long skirt like that and then where is it there are maybe oh maybe the elastic is the front is the elastic the front Yes. Okay. That's how you can tell. And I'm going to show you. The elastic side is the front. So this will be like right above your bust. I should have known that. I should have known that. Um, but these right here, this right here, and this right here cinch the dress. So there are little pulls right here. And the dress can be cinched up. Look at that. And then it's and then you would tie it. Get the other one. Now this went out of stock when I was waiting for it. Like when I was trying to get my credits and stuff saved up, so I was so bummed. But see how it cinches up? So that's nice. You can cinch it if it gets hot, you know, or just however the style that you want to go with. Um I was so bummed because I wanted this particular color and it kept going out of stock before I could get it and oh my gosh when it came in the stock I jumped jumped okay it's $20 right now $20.97 it comes in the champagne color which I got it comes in black for all you girls who love the black I would totally get that I would rock that it also comes in this stunning like burgundy red which again I would love that one it comes in the champagne and I did that so it could go with everything because I have other things coming oh my renaissance outfit is going to be kicking it's going to be perfect I'm so excited um so I got the champagne and then it also comes in a beautiful sky blue which wouldn't that look pretty with my my eyes you know if I got that one and got a beautiful like blue and purple like jewel tone um, corset. Anyway, cute, right? So cute. And I paid $20.99 for it. So now that's that. And I will try it on. So you're probably looking at a video of me doing my thing. Um, okay. So then we have, no, not that. Where is it? Where is it? Last but certainly not least. I got a little corset, right? Do they call it a corset? 
they call it, what do they call it? Lace up corset top. So, and look at the colors, perfect. Because I'm gonna also be implementing green. Oh, it's gonna be so beautiful. And like brown leather. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm getting a new corset. Hopefully it fits. Hopefully it's not too big. But um, there it is. And it's like, it almost feels like an upholstery type fabric, you know, but not, not too coarse, but you can hear it. But then it's super soft on the inside. Hear the difference? And it laces up in the back, right there. So I got it, I think it'll fit. I hope it'll fit. But yeah, I thought it would look super cute with this color dress. And then I have some green um, things coming and leather things coming. So I could put together the whole outfit. But you'll get to see this at least right now. The start of my Renaissance card. Do y'all go to Renaissance festivals? Did you? Have you? Do you want to? Do you love the Renaissance era? I do. I love history, period. I mean, if you don't take the time to learn history, you're doomed to repeat all the things that we shouldn't. So it is so beneficial. And I love going to these kind of things. I like taking my family. My son enjoys them. And he was bummed that we missed out this year. Not as bummed as me, though, honestly. I seriously love it. I had my first taste of mead when I was there, and I love it. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all for my haul. That's all for my haul. Uh, <laughs> at least I'm in a good mood. I needed to be in a good mood. Um, but yeah, I'll get those tried on so I can put the videos in here. Hopefully. Oh, don't hate me if I don't. Oh, but yeah, that's it. So, uh, I hope you're having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. I hope you make it a good one, a happy one, a healthy one, and I will see you in the next one. And Norbert, over here, he fell over. Oh, Norbert. And, uh, my cicada, which still needs a name, by the way. My cicada, my Norbert cicada, and, uh, Charlotte's Weber. From smile until it hurts. <laughs> um, they all say, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>